everyone, my name is Mac here from Minard's Leisure World and today we're going to be taking a look at our brand new 2020 Ice Castle Fish House Little Jigger. Uh, this is a, our smallest model coming onto the lot. Uh, this is going to be great for people that can't tow a lot, don't have a lot of capacity then in that regard. This one's going to be just over 2,000 pounds dry weight. Um, it's going to accommodate a couple of people, uh, but let's start kicking it off with some exterior features. So you can see this is a tin-sided trailer. Um, they actually build these to a residential standard. So residential framing in the walls, residential insulation. They're quite, quite interesting. Uh, if we take a look at the front of this coach, uh, they've got this really neat drop-down system. So the whole idea of the Ice Castle Fish House is that it will actually drop down onto the ice, seal it up so you don't have that draft coming up in the hole you know, your, your fishing hole. So that way you can stay on the ice for days, even a week at a time. Um, but part of how they accommodate that is these winch systems. So we have a winch system on the front for the coupler, so you can leave it hooked up to your tow vehicle. Um, this will basically, if you can imagine, will sit tilted up just like that. We've got dual 30 pound propane tanks. So large propane capacity, you're gonna be running that furnace lots if you're out in the dead of winter. Coming a little further back, we have a door just like we see on like our OTG trailers, our offices to go. And uh, anybody who uses those can tell you those doors are heavy duty, they're well insulated, they use them year round. Coming on to the campsite, you'll see we've got no awning or anything like that, although this can be used for three season camping, hunting and fishing. We have residential acrylic windows, they're dual pane, give you the best insulation possible. They also have these screens to keep the bugs out. On the side is a coax inlet so that you can hook up to say a satellite uh, dish and be able to watch TV out in the ice. That's pretty cool. Uh, right here is our second winch system, of course, for our tires. This is an axleless suspension system. So they do run on uh, leaf springs. And uh, basically to drop it down, one guy can do it in about five minutes. It's kind of a two-step process. So you're gonna start by winching it up taking the weight off of this pin. You pull that pin out, and then it just simply drops down to the ice. So one guy can go around, like I said, about five minutes, get it down right on the ice. It's a really cool system. And they put big, beefy tires on these things. So they're gonna travel well, long distances. They're gonna go over some rougher terrain, and they're gonna hold up really well. All right, so now we're standing inside the cab of the Little Jigger. It's got a really nice homey feel with that pine interior. But let's talk a little bit about the seating and bedding situation as well as the most important part, the fishing holes. So this coach comes with a, uh, a little jackknife sofa. So this will pop down really easy, kind of like a futon, just like that, and there's your sleeping situation. Now, if you do have uh, a buddy or maybe the grandkids with you, you can set up a cot right next here. Um, there's quite a bit of room for one, and that way you'd be able to sleep two, maybe three people if you cuddle. Um, but you're going to sleep two to three people in here fairly comfortably. And uh, let's not forget, you're going to stay very, very warm thanks to that propane furnace. So this pops back up really easily when you're ready to start fishing. And in front of our sofa, we have four fishing holes. So these are a really neat system. Um, you may be familiar with them already. They're called the catch cover system. So these just pop right out and you can see straight down to the ground. And uh, they are very secure when they're in place. You can hear that snap and they're very, very strong. So I can shake the whole trailer jumping on these and they're not gonna break. So you can really depend on those. You come with four and I have even seen people add in extra holes. I'm not sure if you have the room to do it in this floor plan, but uh, those catch cover systems are available aftermarket if you wanna do that. One other thing I'd like to mention about our fishing holes is that each one has their own catch light and you can turn it on and off. So this is gonna light up the area a lot better for you so you can see what you're doing, see the catch coming up. We also have a jack for a fishing camera. So if you have a camera system that you're dropping down underwater, it'll actually feed up to your TV, which is just up above, right in front of where you sit. So that's really, really cool. You can have a live feed of what's going down right in front of you. So now we've covered the fishing and the sleeping, let's talk about the storage. How much gear can you bring with you? So right beside either side of the sofa, we have this same storage system. There's a cup holder here, so you can keep a cold one on hand. And then underneath, 
is a bit of storage there. So you can see, keep some tackle handy, uh, any tools, maybe a knife or uh, your multi-tool. So it's there ready to grab whenever you need it. We also have this handy 12 volt port here too. So if you need to keep any devices charged up, that will run off the battery. Up above is our overhead cabinetry. And again, like I said, that pine cabinetry, really, really homey. They do a hidden hinge design, so it's gonna be nice and durable. And we've got three full cabinets there. Moving along, uh, still on the overhead cabinetry, we've got a voltage meter. So this is great to be able to keep an eye on how your battery's doing. Uh, if you have maybe a solar panel set up while you're out on the ice, you can keep an eye on that, make sure it's not getting blown over with snow. You can make sure that's cleared off and you're still getting a charge. Underneath that is our multimedia center. So this is actually wired up to the same jacks that you saw where the TV is mounted. It'll run AM and FM radio. You can do Bluetooth to your phone for music, or you can put in DVDs as well. So it's an all-in-one system. It's really nice to have when you're out here. So the last of the storage that we can look at is our third cabinets here, very much similar to the rest. I do wanna point out that we have four speakers all around in the ceiling of this coach. There's two here and two back where I was standing. We also have this upgraded fan system. So like I said, if you're in the summer, even in the fall, if it's a little warm in here, you can vent some of that hot air out. Um, these big fans really move a lot of air volume, so that's awesome. Another neat feature of the little jigger is our cook station. So this is a standard two burner cooktop. We'll run off the propane system that's on board, and uh, you can cook up your catch right as it comes out of the holes, which it doesn't get any better than that. So. Uh, little snacks or full meals, you can do it all right here. Another thing I want to point out that's super important is where the battery is located. Because these things are going to be exposed to some really cold temperatures. It's important to keep that battery inside so it doesn't freeze up, especially if that voltage drops a little low overnight. So it's inside the coach, it's exposed to heat, it's not going to freeze up on you and leave you stranded. So I want to thank you guys for coming along on this walkthrough of the 2020 Ice Castle little jigger. I'm really excited about this small model. I think it's going to make a big splash. Um, keep in mind, this is a three season use coach. So you can use it for camping, hunting, and fishing. It's really well adapted for all three. Very well insulated, great heating system on board, and it's a totally off-grid capable trailer. So if you have any more questions or you want to see more, make sure you visit us online at minorsleisureworld.com. And keep in mind, we have two locations now to serve you better. One in Watrous and one in Weyburn. So I hope to see you soon.